Hi friends, Stevie here. Welcome to Feel the Flow As You Go. This is a fluidity, dynamic, movement-based class where we'll be leading up to a peak style flow that we then repeat and get a little bit quicker. And of course, there will be all kinds of mimics and offerings and modifications throughout this class. But even if something isn't offered, please feel free to change up these movement patterns however it feels more comfortable for you. The goal of this class and the focus of this class is just to kind of get into that groove of movement. If you have a fun playlist that you like to put along, some kind of water fluidity based theme, please do so. When I wrote this class, I did use music and just getting into the groove is the goal. So whatever that means for you as far as subbing, skipping, canceling, <laughs> completely changing some of these movements, please be my guest. And it is one of those classes that moves a little bit faster, even during the warmups. So revisiting it a couple times, even if that first round feels a bit confusing, could be beneficial. Now you don't need any props. However, props are welcome. We will spend some time rolling on the back as well as work on the shins. So if you know you like to have a blanket or a towel on your mat, great. You don't technically need a mat. You could do this on a carpeted space as well. And just because we'll do some kind of warrior three-esque, sometimes blocks is helpful as well. And you're always welcome to use whatever props you'd like. Gather what you need and let's meet on the back body. Lay down and plant the soles of your feet. Let your knees come to the sky. Take a second just to drop into your space. Notice the back of your heart, the back of your ribs touching the floor. Bring attention to your natural breath. Can you let your natural exhale and your natural inhale drain and expand the lungs? Try not to change it. Take whatever breath practice works for you in this class, including not even worrying about the breath. I won't be cueing breath for this specific flow, but I do have some breath linked flows if that's something that you prefer. Pull your right knee in towards your right armpit, give it a squeeze. Lengthen your left leg long on the mat. Bring the sole of your right foot up towards the sky. Think half happy baby and pull on your ankle or your foot as you draw the knee closer to the armpit. Wind your right arm inside of your right leg. Maybe grab onto the foot or whatever is comfortable. Leave your right arm on your right foot. That can hang out there. Pull your left foot to the sky and then in closer towards the body. Maybe tap that foot with your left hand and draw a big circle with your left foot out to the side and then down to float over the floor again. Pull the left toes in towards the face. You can flex them or point them, whatever is comfortable. And take the left foot out to the side and just keep drawing those big half circles with the left foot. Foot in towards the face and then out towards the side. Hopefully you have more space than I do. Pull the foot in and draw that big half circle. One more time, pull the foot in and draw the big half circle. Leave your left leg on the ground. Take your right knee across the body and into a supine twist. Whatever movements feel interesting to you here in your supine twist, don't worry if the knee doesn't touch the floor or if the shoulder blade lifts. Just figure out something that feels interesting and comfortable for your body. Unwind from your supine twist. Extend your right leg long. Pull your left knee in towards your chest. Give it a squeeze towards your left armpit. Bring the sole of your left foot up towards the ceiling. Take your left arm inside of your left leg and gently pull the left knee closer towards the armpit. Maybe grab onto the sole of your left foot or anywhere on your left leg with your left hand. Release your right hand. Pull your right leg in towards your face. Tap your toes or whatever part of your leg feels interesting. Send your right leg out to the side. Draw that big half circle down. And then up towards your face again. Out and down. Keep going with these big half circles. Noticing if part of your back body wants to shift during any of this or if there's any parts that feel just more challenging or more interesting. Take one more big half circle. And the next time your right leg is extended long, leave it there. 
cross your left knee over to the right, take a supine twist to the other side. Anything goes in this recline twist. What feels interesting for your body? Sorry about the click clacking of claws. My little furry friends are here visiting today. Hope you don't mind. Unwind. Pull both knees in towards the armpits. Grab behind your thighs and begin to rock up and down along the spine. Rock all the way to a seated position. Plant the feet in front of you with the feet fairly wide, maybe even almost as wide as the mat. And start to simply rock the knees from side to side. Don't worry if the torso and the pelvis go with. Rock the knees side to side. Maybe tap. Tap the inside knee as it internally rotates. Tap. You might walk a little bit on the mat. I know I do. That's fine. The next time your knees come over to the right, plant your right hand. Lift your hips. Squeeze and press out through the left glute. So squeeze and press towards the left. Release, take it to the other side, plant your left hand, lift up through the hips. Try to plant that right knee and squeeze through the right booty and press it out. Lower, take it to the other side, lift up, squeeze, and take it to the left. Lift up, squeeze. Nice, come back to a seat, cross your ankles, roll over your shins, and bring yourself into a tabletop position here. In your tabletop position, just grip the fingertips into the floor. Shift the weight forward and back slightly, keeping a long spine. Forward and back. Maybe side to side. Experimenting with placing weight in the hands here. Lift your lower ribs slightly away from the floor and tense your fingertips. Draw your fingertips towards each other like you're trying to protect something underneath your hand and bend your elbows slightly out to the side. Keep the trunk nice and steady, but with a bend of the elbows and a flick of the wrist, pounce up to your shins like a pouncing kitty. Land the same way, bend your elbows to absorb the landing. Grip the fingertips and pounce your way back up. Land, pounce. You can let your shins play like I'm doing, but you don't have to, they can stay on the floor as well. We call these kitty pounces. So imagine you're a happy, pouncing kitty as you go up and down. Pouncing kitties. We'll do two more of these. Great work. Come back to your tabletop position. Press through the fingertips, grip with the hands, hover the right knee and take it out to the side. Draw some circles with the right leg. Pause the circle at the top, kick the right foot out to the right, and slowly lower it down. Your foot can face either direction. Totally fine with me. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Weave your right arm underneath your left and reach over towards the left. Wonderful. As you lift your right arm back up towards the sky, can you hover your right foot? Woo! Thread the needle, lower your right foot. Lift the right arm, hover the right foot. Woo! Thread the needle, last time. Lift the right arm, lift the right foot, grab onto the right knee and pull it towards the front of the mat. And if it didn't make it there, no problem, friends. Keep your right hand on your right knee, rock forward, and then send your right knee back, sending your hips back to like a weird light half split. Rock forward, rock back, rock forward, just flossing a little through the hips. Rock back, one more time like that. Rock forward, rock back, come forward, place your right hand down, send your right knee back out to the side. Cross your right knee behind your left knee into a little cross-legged tabletop and feel free to adjust as always. Tuck your toes and lift your hips back to downward facing dog. Bend your knees here and just explore what it feels like to have a cross leg downward facing dog, left leg in front of right. The next time you bend your knees, pause. Pivot your knees over to the right. Notice how they kind of uncross. Can you kick your left toes out to the right? Maybe tap them with your right hand, tap them, tap them, and maybe even grab onto that left leg somewhere and just pull it up towards the front of the mat. Like you were going to take it all the way up, but we're not going there yet. Just grab it and pull it, grab it and pull it. One more time, grab it and pull it. Nice, release, release your hands down, unwind, and come back to your stationary tabletop, other side. Grip with the fingertips, hover the left shin. 
Take it out to the left and draw some circles. The next time the left knee is up, pause, kick the left foot out to the side and lower it down to the floor. Reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Wave your left arm underneath your right. As you peel the left arm towards the sky, can you hover the left foot? Woo. Lower the left foot, thread the needle. Lift both up. Woo. Thread the needle. One more time. Lift both up. Thread the needle. And this time, as you lift both up, grab onto your left leg and pull it towards the front of your mat. Take your left hand to your left knee. If it's not already there, lunge forward. And send your hips back. Lunge forward. Send your hips back. Lunge forward. Send your hips back. One more time. Lunge forward. And send your hips back. Lunge forward. Take your left hand inside of your left knee. Bring your left knee back out to the side. And cross your left knee behind your right into a cross like a tabletop. Adjust your tabletop so it's comfy. Tuck your toes and send the hips up. Cross-legged, downward facing dog. This time, right leg on top of left. Adjust as always. Bend the knees a few times. Bend the knees. Shift the knees over to the left. Notice how they untwist a little bit. Kick the right foot to the left. And maybe you tap it with the left fingertips. Tap. Tap. Maybe grab onto that right leg somewhere and draw it towards the top of the mat. Towards the top of the mat. The more you push with your bottom arm, the more space you'll have. Tap. And release. Back to our regular downward facing dog here. Find any wiggles that feel interesting. Maybe grab the outer edges of your mat and pull. Back to your downward facing dog. Step your right foot up between your hands and lower your knee here for a low lunge position. Take your hands to your right knee. Just lunge forward. Squeezing through the left glute, you can take your arms up towards the sky if that's more comfortable. Whatever feels interesting to you. Lift up through the back knee, think crescent pose, arms towards the sky. Then take your hands out to the side. Now notice you have this loading weight in your front foot. Load more into the front foot so that you can pounce off the front foot and end up on the back foot at the back of your mat. Let's do that again. Come forward, load into the front foot, Pounds. And if you wobble and fall, no problem. I do too. To the back of your mat. Great. So the right leg is lifted. Take the right leg in front of the left and start to unwind. So twirl to the left, face the back of the mat. Keep twirling all the way until you're facing the front of the mat again, but now the left leg's in front. Cool? Take your front leg, and that's your left leg, and pull it into a tree pose. Lean your tree pose a little bit over towards the right. Just lean, 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 toppling tree as we often call it, and then step your left foot forward and lower your right knee. Just in the low lunge on the other side, nothing wild. Lunge forward a little bit, maybe take your arms towards the sky, squeeze through your right booty, pull up through your pubic bone, lift up crescent pose, picking up the back knee off the ground. Take your arms out to the side if they're not there already. Notice the weight in the front foot. Can you load more into the front foot and then launch off the front foot to the back? Let's do it one more time. Shrink your lunge if you find that that's a really big challenge for you. Load into the front foot, launch to the back foot. Nice. Take the left foot in front of the right onto the ground. Unwind, rewind, facing the front of the mat again. But now the right leg's on top. Right leg's in top. Pull it into a tree. Lean over to the left. Let's do that one more time each side. Step your right foot forward, low lunge. One lunge forward, don't worry if your heel lifts. This is about expression today, not necessarily specific alignment. Lift up the crescent pose. Take your arms out to the side, prepare, load forward. Launch to, woo, to the back of the mat. I'm gonna wobble a lot during this flow. Cross your top foot on top, the right foot. Unwind, rewind. Pick up your front foot, tree pose. Lean to the right, step forward with that left foot, and lower the back knee. Low lunge, lift up, crescent pose. Take your arms out to the side, load the front foot, get ready, pounce to the back of the mat. <laughs> left foot over right, unwind, rewind. Pick up your front foot, that's the one that comes into tree. Topple your tree a little bit, maybe just for challenge. And then we would step forward if we were doing this again. I'm gonna take off my sockies. And 
we got one more quick little movement session before we get into that final flow and we start doing it with a little bit more repetitions. So step the right foot forward, that's a side run, and lower the back knee, coming into a low lunge. Keep the back toes tucked. Lunge forward. Shift the hips back. Think cat spine as you reach your arms forward into a light half split. Drag the front heel towards the back foot. Take your right hand down outside of your right leg and side body stretch. Express yourself here. Take your left hand over to the left. Pick up your right arm and side body stretch to the opposite side. Notice how you could keep leaning into your left hand. Pick up your left knee and pivot into a wide-legged forward fold facing the left side of your mat. And if you didn't notice that, well, try it now. Take a little load of your right knee. So bend into your right knee like you're going to lower down into a little squatsy squats there. And then just re-pivot towards the front of the mat. Switch out your legs however you'd like. So left foot in front, right leg in back. Think low lunge here. Pick up your arms, lunge forward. Shift the hips back, cat spine, reach forward with the arms. Half split action, but not really worry too much about the half split. Drag your left heel towards your right knee. Take your left hand outside of your left foot, side bend over towards the left. Cartwheel to the other side, right hand down, side bend to the right. Now notice how you can keep leaning into your right hand or right fingertips. Pick up your right knee and pivot your feet to a wide-legged forward fold. Give it a try. Load into your front leg, that's your left leg. And just give yourself a little squats. Squatsy squats. All righty. Come to a stand and I'm trying to figure out which way I'll do this so that you can get the best view. And I think I'll face this way. So now we'll do our full flow together. And we haven't done all the pieces yet, but we've done a lot of the pieces. And yes, we're part of it. You'll be facing away depending on how you set up your, your screen to what I'm doing. But it's going to be okay because we'll do it multiple times. So I'll end up seeing it from a few different angles and then we'll pick up the pace. A lot of it is movement that we've already done, but yes. We are adding some new ones. So start in a low lunge with the right leg forward. Lunge forward in your low lunge, same thing we've done. Think cat spine, half splits, reach the sit bones back, arms forward. Take your right hand to the right, side bend over towards the right. Cartwheel over towards the left, side bend to the left. Same thing, wide-legged forward fold transition, pivot your feet. If you do anything fancy, you want with your top arm as you reach it towards the sky. Bend into your right leg. Bend, 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 bend. Adjust your foot as needed. What do you have to do to sit your booty down? And it can be far behind you. That's totally fine. You can use your hands as well. So I'm sitting down. Adjust your right shin from this position to down on the floor so that you can rock up to a gate pose prep. And yes, of course you can use your hands or you can just pop up. And notice how I pop up, then I move my shin. So gate pose prep. Pre uh, blah, 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 blah. Press the pelvis forward. Huh? Press the pelvis forward, squeeze the glutes. You could do a little ha ah, back bend if that's interesting to you. Pivot towards the front of your mat. As you pivot towards the front of your mat, think cross legged tabletop. Right leg is in front, left leg is behind it, and I had to adjust a little bit. That's okay. You can adjust in some of these funky flows. It'll be okay. Tuck your toes, lift up through your knees. We've been here before. Bend your knees. Pivot your knees to the left so they unwind a little bit. Kick your right toes out. Maybe you tap them with your left hand. Option for a fallen triangle here. If you want to extend your right foot and lift up into a big dramatic shape, you can. Pull your hips back until you can lift your right foot and grab it anywhere, anywhere, leg. Grab that leg and take a big exhale as you carry that right leg somewhere towards the top of the mat. It doesn't have to be this huge triangle shape. You can make it halfway up. It's chill, friends. We're not going to be here for long. So wherever it makes it, that's good. You can always wiggle it more. Express yourself into some kind of triangle pose. Look towards the front of the mat. Shift your hips towards the front of the mat. Launch off the back leg and tuck the left knee behind the right into a little teeny Shiva squat. Gink a tiny ball. Little tiny ball. 
extend through that left leg, the top leg, I think supported warrior three, but keep a bend into that bottom leg. And I have my fingertips touching the ground. Lower through the back toes. Oh, God. Here's our little launch. Yeah? Here's a launch. So you can pick up your torso if you want. It will be harder to do it with the torso lower. Load into that front leg. Push up that front leg. Launch to the back of the mat. The right leg is lifted. Yes, y'all. Cross the right leg over the left. Unwind to the back of the mat. Rewind to the front of the mat. Okay? Now, this time, we know it's the front leg that does stuff, right? It's the one that came in the tree before. And we also just pivoted to the left. So that's a hint that it's the left leg that picks up. It's the front leg. Instead of tree this time, send it out to the side and just lean out to the right with your torso. Kind of like this little half moony thing. Well, we're not really going to have to bend into the bottom leg. Reach your arms forward. Keep the shape of your legs. Lower your hands and lower your right knee. So we're almost in a gate pose prep. Keep the back toes tucked. Lift the left arm towards the sky. Oh, do you see where we are here? Thread the needle. As you lift the left hand, lift the left leg too. Grab it and carry it towards the front of the mat. And hey, we're ready for the other side. Low lunge, come forward with the left leg forward. If you're not there, hey, just meet us there. It's going to be fine. Send the hips back. Think cat spine, half splits. Take your left hand to the left. Side bend over towards the left. Cartwheel it over, side bend to the right. Transition into wide-legged forward fold. So pick up the back knee, pivot the feet, do whatever fancy shit you want to do with your top hand, wide-legged forward fold. Load into the front leg, bend deep, skandasana into that front knee. Sit your booty back behind you, use your hands to help you if that's more comfy. Adjust your left shin so it's flat on the ground. Use your hands or just a big exhale to lift up into a gate pose prep. Maybe open your heart towards the sky. Cart with your hands towards the front of the mat. Make your way into a cross-legged tabletop with your left knee in front this time. I'm taking a walk on the mat. Tuck your back toes. Lift your knees. Cross-legged down or facing dog. Bend the knees. Shift them over to the right to unfurl. Kick your left toes out. Tap them with your right hand. Option to express yourself into a fallen triangle. Pull those toes back in. Lift them. Take a big exhale and shoo, carry them somewhat towards the front of the mat into something that resembles a triangle. Reach your right arm up. Shiva squat towards the front of the mat. Tuck your right knee behind your left. Think supported warrior three. Keep a bend into that front knee. And here's that little load and launch. Take the back toes down. You could pick up your torso here if that feels easier. Do whatever you want with your arms. Really load into that front leg. Feel how strong the hamstring is. Push to the back of the mat. Woo. The more you wobble, the more you're just asking your hip muscles to do some work. So it's not a bad thing. Catch. Left leg lifted, cross the left leg in front of the right, unwind to the back of the mat, rewind to the front of the mat. All righty, now we know it's the front leg that does stuff, right? So pick up the right leg, send it out to the side. I have a wall here, so I'm gonna bend it. Lean your torso to the left. Woohoo! Keep the leg out, but rewrite the torso, bend into the bottom leg, touch the floor, and land into your gate pose prep. Take your right arm to the sky, thread the needle. As you lift your right arm, hover your right leg, grab it, carry it to the front of the mat, and you can see how we're looping to the other side. So we'll pick up the pace now a little bit, but again, adjust as needed. Lunge forward, cat spine half split, side bend over towards the right, side bend over towards the left. Transition to wide-legged forward fold. Bend into your front leg, lower your booty, adjust your shin, gate pose, Prep. Cartwheel to the front. Tabletop with cross legs, right leg in front. Tuck your toes. Lift your knees, downward facing dog. Shift the knees to the left. Kick the right leg forward. Tap. Fallen triangle option. Pull the hips back in. Lift the right leg. Pick it up with the left hand and carry it up to triangle. Adjust as desired. Shiva squat towards the front of the mat. (sighs) Bent leg, warrior three. Lower your back toes. Feel the power of your front leg and launch to the back of the mat. Right leg lifted. Cross your right leg over your left. Unwind. Rewind. Pick up your front leg. Take it out to the left. Lean towards the right. 
Rewrite your torso, catch the floor, drop your right knee. Reach your left arm towards the sky. Thread the needle. Reach your left arm and your left leg up. Oh, grab your left leg, carry it to the top of the mat. Low lunge. Cat spine half split. Side bend over towards the left. Side bend to the right. Wide legged forward fold transition. Bend into that front leg, the left leg. Lower your booty to a seat. Adjust your shin. Pop up, gate pose. Cartwheel your hands to the front of the mat. Adjust into your tabletop with cross legs. Left leg in front. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Shift the knees to the right. Kick your left toes out. Maybe tap them with your right fingers and take that fallen triangle if it so calls to you. Pull your hips back in. Pick up your left leg and carry it with your right hand to something that resembles triangle pose. Shiva squat, front of the mat. <sighs> Warrior three, extend the right leg back. Lower the back toes, prepare your front leg, launch to the back of the mat. Cross your left foot over your right, unwind, rewind. It's the front foot that moves. Take it out to the side, I'm gonna bend it. Lean towards the left. Take your hands down to the mat and lower your left knee. <sighs> Gate pose prep, reach your right arm up. Thread the needle. Reach your right arm and your right leg up, woo, and carry that right leg to the front of the mat. Sometimes things get easier as they get faster, right? When you have to hold it, it's harder. Lunge. Cat spine half split. Side bend to the right. Side bend to the left. Transition to wide legged fold. Skandasana into that right leg. Lower your booty. Pop up, gate pose. Cross legged tabletop, front of the mat. Cross legged down dog. Shift the knees to the left. Kick your right foot out. Fall in triangle. Pull the hips in. Carry your right foot to triangle. Shiva squat. Warrior three. Lower the back toes. Launch off the front foot. Hover the right leg. Cross. Unwind. Rewind. Take the left foot out and lean towards the right. Lower the hands. Lower the right knee. Left arm up. Thread the needle. Take the left arm and left foot to the sky and carry the left foot forward. Low lunge. Cat spine half split. Side bend to the left. Side bend to the right. Wide legged forward fold. Skandasana. Lower your booty. Pop to gate. Cross legged table top. Tuck your toes. Lift up down dog. Shift the knees right, kick the left foot out, fall in triangle. Pull the hips in, use the right hand to carry the left foot to triangle. Shiva squat, tuck the right knee behind. Warrior three, lower the back toes, launch off that front leg to the back. Left leg is lifted, cross the left foot in front of the right, unwind, rewind. Take the right leg out and lean to the left. Lower down to the knees. And the hands. Reach the right arm up. Thread the needle. Right arm, right leg up. Carry that right leg to the top of the mat. We got it now. Lunge. Cat spine half split. Lean to the right. Lean to the left. Wide legged forward fold. Skanda into the right leg. Lower the booty. Gate pose. Cross legged tabletop. Cross legged down dog. Fall in triangle, kick the right leg out. Carry the right leg up, triangle pose. Shiva squat, warrior three. Launch to the back of the mat. Cross the right leg in front, unwind, rewind. Left leg out, lean to the right. Lower the knees, reach the left arm up. Thread the needle. Left arm, left leg up, carry it to the lunge. Low lunge forward, cat spine half split. Side bend to the left, side bend to the right. Transition, wide legged forward fold. Load into that left leg, lower your booty. Gate pose, pop. Cross legged tabletop, cross legged down dog. Shift the knees to the right, fall in triangle. Grab onto that left leg, regular triangle. Shiva squat, warrior three, 
Lower the back toes, launch to the back of the mat. Cross your left leg, unwind, rewind. Take your right leg out and lean left. Bring your hands down, gate pose prep. Bring your right arm up, thread the needle. Lift your right arm and right leg, carry it to the top of the mat. Lunge forward, cat spine half split. Side bend right, side bend left. Wide legged forward fold, skanda. Lower your booty, pop to gate. Cross legged tabletop, cross legged down dog. Fallen triangle, <sighs> regular triangle. Shiva squat, warrior three. Launch to the back of the mat, cross your right leg, unwind, rewind. Right leg out, and left, left leg out, lean right. Lower your knee, gate pose prep. Lift your left arm, thread the needle. Reach your left arm, left leg up. Step it forward, low lunge, cat spine half split, lean left, lean right, wide legged forward fold, skandasana to your bhute, pop up, gate pose, cross legged tabletop, cross legged downward facing dog, bend the knees, shift them right, fall in triangle, regular triangle, Shiva squat, warrior three. Launch to the back of the mat. Cross your left leg in front. Unwind. Rewind. Take your right leg out. Lean left. Lower down through your knee. Bring your right arm up. Thread the needle. Right arm, right leg up. Step it to the top. One more time each side. Low lunge. Cat spine half split. Lean right. Lean left. Wide legged forward fold. Transition. Skandasana to your booty. Gate pose, cross-legged tabletop, cross-legged downward facing dog, fallen triangle, regular triangle, Shiva squat, warrior three, launch to the back of the mat, cross your leg, unwind, rewind, right, left leg out, keep saying that, lean right, lower it down, lift your left arm up. Thread the needle, left arm, left leg high, step it forward, low lunge, half split, lean to the left, lean to the right, wide legged forward fold, skandasana to your booty, gate pose, lift, cross legged tabletop, cross legged downward facing dog, take it into your fallen triangle, regular triangle, Shiva squat, warrior three, back toes down, launch to the back of the mat, cross your left leg in front, unwind, rewind, bring your right leg out, lean left, lower your knees and hands, reach your right arm up, thread the needle, right arm, right leg up, carry that leg to the front of the mat, pause. If you'd like to keep going, now would be the time to pause your video and keep playing with this sequence. Feel free to come to a comfortable seat. If not, of course, you can change it. You can be like, ah, I loved it, except for these one transition felt weird in my body. What else could you do there? Some of my initial creative explorations just came from other people's sequences that maybe inspired me in some way, like, oh, I really like this transition, but that one felt weird in my body. What would feel better in my body? Play with it. If you're not sure, play with it. Try to do something unexpected. I feel like, no, no, I wanted a guided practice today. I got it, I'm sweaty, I'm hot then great, let's do a really brief cool down together. Just a brief one. So if you're joining me for a cool down, land your back body and extend your legs and arms into the air. Dead bug. Think softness through your legs and arms. So just kind of let your wrists flop and your feet be natural. Try to find stillness. Again, bring attention to the back of your ribs, touching the floor. Your breath might have changed a little bit. Or maybe not, since the beginning. Roll through the wrists. Roll through the ankles.
release your feet down to the floor. Take your hands onto your thighs, just above the hip crease, and press into your thighs. Come up onto your toes and press your thighs back into your hands. And you might have to walk your toes a little bit closer in. Press your thighs into your hands and your hands into thighs. It's about 20% power and you might feel some tension come to your abdominals. If you want a little bit more, you can bring your shins to parallel and even raise your hands up more towards your knee. But just keep it light, 10, 20% power in either direction. Keep pressing your hands into your legs and your legs into your hands. Find that connection to your abdominals. Lower your toes to the floor if they're not already. Can you keep the tension in your abdominals? Press through your heels, lift your hips a little bit off the floor and squeeze your booty. This is not a big back bend, just lift your hips off the floor, squeeze your booty and pull your pubic bone actively towards your sternum. Squeeze your booty. Pull your pubic bone towards your sternum. Send your knees away from self. Release your hips down. Bring the right knee in towards the chest and cross the right ankle over the left leg. This is a great place to be. Or if you want to pull your legs in and do any kind of thread the needle or reclined pigeon variation, that's welcome too. Whatever feels interesting for you today. Invitation to stay here or with the foot on the floor or to take this into a figure four twist. Just bring in the knees over to the left while keeping the figure four position. Unwind. Release the figure four, maybe straighten up through the right leg for a second. Pull the left knee in towards the chest and cross it over the right thigh, figure four. This is a great place to be, or you can bring the thighs closer in, grabbing behind the right hamstrings or even the right shin. And your choice to stay here, or if you want to take this into a figure four or any other kind of twist. That could be nice. Unwind, straighten the left leg just for a moment and extend both legs long on the mat. Walk your feet towards the back right corner of your mat, cross your left ankle over your right, and then use your right hand to grip onto your left forearm and arc towards the upper right corner of your mat. So you're making a big half moon shape, stretching through the left side of your body. You can keep your limbs on the floor, there's no need to hover them. But I do like to think about pressing out gently through my left hip and really tugging on that left forearm with my right hand to accentuate this. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Take it to the other side. So just reverse all those motions and stretch through your right side body. Squeeze your inner thighs together. release. Come back to center. If anything else is calling to you, please feel free to take it. Otherwise, I invite you to finish with your feet wide and knock your knees together. Taking a moment to lengthen through your tailbone and find more connection with the low back to the floor. Bring your hands wherever they're comfortable. <sighs> Thanks so much for practicing with me today. Again, if some of those transitions felt a little bit tricky, please know that that's often the case the first round through some of these quicker moving creative sequences. I do invite you to tinker with them on your own and to feel free to explore and to change things so that if you do decide to visit this class again, whether it's through the video or just through your own memory, you'll be able to customize this however you'd like. As always, give us a shout if there's anything in particular you'd like to see. And thank you so much for practicing with me today. Have a great one, guys.